Good day everyone, in this video I will discuss to you about the Fibonacci sequence. But before that, let me first introduce to you the learning objective of this lesson. So at the end of this lesson, the students are expected to explain Fibonacci numbers and origin, present facts, examples, and definitions of Fibonacci numbers objectively, Illustrate how the Fibonacci sequence is expressed in nature and discover the pervasiveness of the golden ratio in nature and art. So let's start. What is a Fibonacci number? So a Fibonacci number, it is a, these are the series of numbers that often occur in nature. So Fibonacci uh, is a short term for the Latin Filius Bonacci, meaning the son of Bonacci. So Leonardo Pisano Bigoglio, he was uh, an, Ita an Italian mathematician that developed the Fibonacci uh, numbers. He first observed the pattern while investigating how fast rabbits could breed under ideal circumstances. Okay. So this series we have 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 35, 55, and so on and so forth are uh, what we call the Fibonacci sequence. So in this pattern, as you can see, uh, what what is the pattern rule here? So we have uh, 0 plus 1, so we just add the two preceding two numbers. Okay, so in Fibonacci sequence, um, the sequence begins with either 0 or 1. So each subsequent number is found by getting the sum of the two preceding numbers. So you just add the two preceding numbers to get the next term. Okay. So say for instance, 34 plus 55, so the value of n here is equal to 89. So in this table, uh, we have... Um, we have here n, which is stands for the number of terms, and then f sub n is the Fibonacci number. So, say for instance, uh, the term 6 is called f, f sub 6, so therefore f sub 6 is equal to 8. So, f sub 6 is equal to 8. So, say for example, if we want to find the term 8 term, that is um, 7 term plus the 6 term. So, in in a functional notation, we have f sub 8 is equal to f sub 7 plus f sub 6. Means that f sub 8 is equal to f sub 8 minus 1 to get 7 and to get 6, 8 minus 2. So, f sub 8 is equal to, so f sub 7 in, our, in the table, uh, we have 13 and then f sub 6 is we have 8. So, therefore, f sub 8 is equal to 21. So, you just add the two numbers. So, the example above, uh, this example suggests that the rule that makes the Fibonacci sequence that the next number is the sum of the previous two. So, the kind of rule is sometimes called a recurrence relation. Uh, mathematically, it is written into a functional notation that is f sub n is equal to f sub n minus 1 and the n plus f sub n uh, minus 2 where f sub n is the term number n so it is the term number n and f sub n minus 1 is the previous term and f sub n minus 2 is the term before uh, the previous term so let's have an example let us calculate the value of f sub 9 so simply f sub 9 is equal to f sub 8 plus f sub 7. So this is the previous term and this one is the previous uh, term uh, before f sub 8. Okay. So our f sub 8 is equal to 21 and then f sub 7 is equal to 13. So you just add the 2. So f sub 9 is equal to 21 plus 13. So meron tayong 34. Okay. So the question is, 
how will you find the nth Fibonacci number? So, paano natin mahanap yung nth Fibonacci number if the given f sub n is larger number? Say, for instance, n is equal to 100. Okay. So, you can use um, you can use either uh, just add the two previous terms. So, i-add lang natin yung two previous terms if uh, use the listing method or we can use the binet form or the binet formula. So this one. So by net formula or the binet formula is we have f sub n is equal to the quantity 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to n minus uh, the quantity 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to n over the square root of 5. Ito, so ito po yung binet formula ng Fibonacci number to find the nth term of a Fibonacci number. So let's have an example. So, let us use the Binet formula to determine the 25th and 30th Fibonacci number, okay? So, let's have the solution. So, our 25th, so n is equal to 25. So, you just copy the formula. So, f sub n is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to n minus the quantity 1 plus, uh, minus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to n over the square root of 5. So next, you just substitute the value of n. So palitan lang natin si n, which is equal to 25. Good. And input this in our calculator, this whole expression, or solve this, the so f sub 25 is equal to 75,025. So you just input the whole expression to the scientific calculator, and press equals, then we have f sub 25 is equal to 75,025. So, let us solve for 30th Fibonacci number. So, we have here 30th. So, therefore, our n is equal to 30. So, yung n natin is 30. Okay? Then, using the Binet formula, the quantity 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to n minus the quantity uh, 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to n over the square root of 5. Then, substitute the value of n, which is equal to 30. Then, uh, input this in our calculator. Then, f sub 30 is equal to 832,040. So, this is how are we going to use the Fibonacci sequence. Okay, so let's proceed to the golden ratio. So, sa explanation ng golden ratio. By the way, uh, the Fibonacci sequence occurs many times in nature like the sunflower. Uh, observing the sunflower species, some have 21 spirals in the clockwise direction and 34 spirals in the counterclockwise direction. Okay, so let's proceed to the discussion of the golden ratio. So, in mathematics and arts, Two quantities are in a golden ratio if their ratio is the same as the ratio of their sum to the larger of the two quantities. So sometimes, the golden ratio pwede siyang tawagin as golden section, golden mean, divine proportion, and the Greek letter pi. Okay. So the golden ratio symbol is the Greek letter pi. So ito po yung symbol ni, uh, ni golden ratio. So we have here. This one. So this is what we call the uh, pi. But this is not uh, the same as yung pi na alam natin na ganitong yung itsura po. So this one is not the same as the golden ratio. Okay? So our uh, the value for the golden ratio is equal to 1.618. So 1.618. So pi is equal to 1.618. Okay. So let's have an example. So, let us find the value of pi square and then 1 over pi. Okay. So, our value for pi is equal to 1.618. So, in our solution, so you just substitute the value of pi which is 1.618. So, let us solve for 1 over pi. So, 1 divided by 1.618. So, substitute the value. Then, it is equal to 0 0.618. Okay. Next problem if we have pi square, so you just substitute the value for pi which is 1.618. Okay? So 1.618 square, so multiply it by itself. So this is equal to 2.618.
Next example, if we have uh, 2 pi plus 3 pi, so 2 pi plus 3 pi, so you just copy the given, then substitute the value 2 times 1.618, so papalitan lang po natin itong pi na 1.618, plus 3 times, so change again or replace again the value of pi by 1.618, so we have here, if you're going to put that in our calculator, or if you're going to solve this one, so 2 times 1.618 plus 3 times 1.618, so this is equal to 8.09. So this is how are we going to solve for the golden ratio, for the value of the given uh, expression using the golden uh, range, golden value. Okay, so say for example, we have here 2, uh, find the value of 2 plus pi. So you just uh, substitute, we have 2 plus what is our given value for pi. So this is um, 1.618. So if you're going to add them, so we have the answer 3.618. So this is how are we going to solve for the uh, for the golden ratio or given an expression, just uh, substitute the value of uh, our golden ratio which is equivalent to 1.618. So another example, if we have here the given expression, um, 5 pi minus 200 minus 5 pi plus 200. So as you can see, uh, just combine like terms, kung titignan nyo, no need to use a calculator or no need to substitute the value for pi because a uh, 5 pi minus, minus 5 pi, so cancel out, and negative 200 plus 200, so you just cancel it out, then it is equivalent to 0. This is the end of our discussion in lesson 2, the Fibonacci sequence and then the golden ratio. Thank you and God bless. Thank you.